Good morning. In Romans chapter 12, verses 3 through 8, Paul writes these familiar words. For by grace, for by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. And if it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. In Christ, we, though many, form one body. You know, I watch a lot of football. And when teams come out to warm up, they often leave their pads and their jerseys inside while warming up in shirts that are emblazoned with their school logo or perhaps a team motto. One of my favorites was from last year's University of Pittsburgh football team. Their shirt said simply, we, not me. Today we will look at how that plays out in the body of Christ as we look at being committed and connected. The Bible describes the Christian life in war terms. Fight, conquer, strive, battle, overcome, and victory. Coaches use this same terminology. When you are in a battle, whether it be physically or spiritually, whether you realize it or not, you need support and backup. When you became a Christian, you became a member of God's team, God's army. Now imagine that you walk into a recruiting office to join the army. They say, wonderful, sign here. But you say, wait, I have one stipulation. I don't want to be committed to any particular platoon. I want to be able to float around. I'll be a part of the army, but I don't want to be committed to a certain group of soldiers. If the battle gets too hot in one area, I'll move to another area and join another platoon. And if I dislike one platoon's leadership, then I'll go ahead and join another. I don't think they're going to take you at that point. Would you want a person like that fighting by your side? Of course you wouldn't. That doesn't sound like the Army. That sounds like today's college football. Players constantly looking to enter the transfer portal in search of greener pastures. And unfortunately, that's how many Christians today relate to God's army. They float around from church to church with little or no commitment to any particular group of Christians. So while the battle is being fought, they are AWOL. There's no such thing as a free-floating believer in the Bible. The difference between just attending church and becoming a member is like the difference between getting married and just living together. The distinction is commitment. The Greek word for fellowship is koinonia, which means being committed to one another. Jesus told his disciples in John 13, 35, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. You can't love people who you have no contact with. So whatever you consider your home church to be, be committed and be connected. Speaking of being committed to a local church, the Village Church is welcoming new members this Sunday at our 9 and 11 o'clock services. If you would like to join the Village Church, you are invited to join several others who are joining this weekend. Simply come to the front of the church during the last stanza of the last hymn this Sunday morning. And at 10 a.m. between services, we will be holding a new member orientation for all those that are joining or considering joining the church. And as a reminder to our youth, youth group will be outside this Sunday evening, so be sure and dress appropriately. Finally, for all of my military friends, go Navy, beat Army. And I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. 
We'll see you Sunday in person or online on Facebook or YouTube at the Village Church at World Golf Village. Have a great day.